What's up guys, my name is Carlos Berto. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. If you guys have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please make sure you do so now and hit that notification bell button so you are notified every time I upload a video. So today what I have for you guys is a hair video and basically it's a how-to hair video. What I want to do is show you guys how to get extreme curly hair. Uh, for those of you who don't, if you guys are in kind of the medium of waviness to almost straighter hair to maybe uh, not too curly and you want to get there. But essentially hairstyles like this right here where they're kind of more extreme curly and they have a nice curly fringe and just overall curls and the sides are pretty short. This is probably the best hairstyle to actually get when your hair is extremely curly and even more on the wavier side where it's a little bit hard to manage when it gets a little bit more longer because then all the emphasis is just going to be on the messiness and not necessarily on the side so you don't have to worry about your hair or uh, head looking super poofy and, and just kind of like your hair looking too messy with all those messy strands. So essentially what you want to do is basically get a cut like I did right now. So if you are trying to find a haircut that suits you, especially if you have very curly hair, wavy hair like mine, as you guys can see right here, I have a nice uh, low taper. This is called the Loso by Nando. Uh, if you guys are in San Jose, and you guys want a haircut, make sure you check him out. His Instagram is right here. And uh, yeah, go check him out at the beauty spot. He does a sick, sick, sick low taper and just fading jobs are insane. So what I tell him for this haircut is basically don't go past the ears. Give me a little, nice, nice, give me a nice taper. Don't go past the ears. And on the sides, just make sure that you keep enough hair on the occipital bone to be able to have a contrast and contour to my neck. Uh, and just anything below the occipital bone, he could basically cut as short as he wants. I don't really care, but I really want to make sure that I have room to play with right here and have a full head of hair essentially throughout the bottom of my occipital bone all the way back up here. I also keep it blended. I do not disconnect it. So if I want to just throw it forward like this, it's going to look good and I, it's going to look good and it's going to grow in blended as well, which is always a lot better. This is probably my favorite haircut of all time. Yeah, it's just so easy to maintain and you could also do a lot of hairstyles. I know a lot of you guys are going to say, what are your measurement details or your hair details, whatever. But right now, like I said, this is probably a one. It's blended in. The longest part right here is probably like one and a half inches uh, to two inches, maybe three, all the way to four. So it's a gradual cut. Uh, and that's my hair measurements for those of you wondering. Okay, now my hair is wet. And there's many ways to actually enhance your curls. There's different products you guys could put and apply before blow drying and trying to get those curls set into your hair. And there's uh, also uh, different ways you could do it with a comb or without a comb. If you want to do it with your fingers, it's a lot easier as well. You could just kink your hair up together like this, smudge it all together while you blow dry. But today we're going to be using just a little brush comb, either this one or the round or this round one just to make sure that we get the curls where we want them to be. And so I'm going to go ahead and use this serum right here, which is a heat protectant by uh, Care Tresere. I don't know what this brand is. I wouldn't suggest you buy it because it was super expensive and there's cheaper serums uh, and it was just gifted to me. So lucky me. Here we go. <laughs> Essentially, I'm just going to try to get parts of the wave of the fringe a little bit broken up into sections and just allowing my curls to come in naturally and accentuate them a little bit with this round brush comb like I'm doing right here. So essentially what you're going to get is a nice messy kind of uh, mess, nice messy curly hairstyle at the fringe is what we want. Perfect. So now that we have the foundation set, you can see my hair is a little bit more curly. Uh, it's going to be more emphasized in the front and the back is just going to be naturally wavy and curly, which is what I want to do because it just makes my hair look a little bit more messy. So now we're going to go ahead and apply Chapter Styling Cream. Just grab a little bit like this, probably like a dime size, whatever you do. I don't know how much of uh, hair, I don't know what kind of hair you have, but if you have hair like mine, I'm assuming because you're watching this, then a nickel size is just enough to begin. So when you're doing this curly hairstyle, what you want to do is make sure that you are emphasizing the front. So we're going to start off by actually making this hairstyle uh, in the front. So we're going to go ahead and apply the product like this, just at the front fringe. Oh, oh, oh. 
So obviously your curls are gonna be a little bit different than mine because you, yours could be a little more defined or less defined. So what you wanna do is just make sure that you are actually looking into the curls right here and just getting a pieces by pieces and just putting some hair product and evenly distributing uh, as close as possible. Obviously you have curly hair so it can't be like a super even dis distribution uh, like if you have more of the straighter wavier hair, but this is not what we're looking for. We're not looking for even. We're looking for a nice messy curly hairstyle. This is what I'm going for right now guys. As you can see the front fringe is a little bit more messier. There's a little more weight carrying the fringe because of all the curls and I just literally all I did was just went strand by strand kind of applied a little bit of chapter hair styling cream to it. That's going to allow enough hold so my hair could just be naturally flowy and curly. So now let's do a 360. <laughs> guys could easily do your own interpretation of uh, the pictures that I was actually inspired by. So shout out to everyone out there watching me. Thank you so much. If you guys want, follow me at Buy Calls for Bird on Instagram for more of me. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to put style on everything. Chapter hairstyling cream. Go get it.